Hey y'all. It is only 9.30. I was outside by 8 o'clock. Don't y'all love my headband? You know, Maria and Leo gave me two of these bandanas. Oh my gosh, I could have used those for um, face masks. That's okay though. One's all I need because I don't go anywhere hardly. Now, I am going to tell y'all. Let me get a little more comfortable, okay? Oh, can y'all see Miss Hazel? She's over there taking a nap. Now, she was um, taking... Hold on, y'all. Oh, there we go. She was taking... Hold on. I just love those slidey things on my curtains. I love them. If um, I manage to go along good enough, I'll be able to get Jerry to put a little wooden valance in there so I don't have to see that gap. And then I can take these things down because what I envisioned for these windows was what they had originally was not curtain rods like this, but they had those glider thingies. Anyway, um, what was I going to tell y'all? I was so glad to remember this, y'all. It's wet. Sweat just runs down in my eyes and it burns because you know sweat is salty. Did you know if you were out in the desert you could lick yourself and um, it would help your dehydration? That's a lie. <laughs> or if it's the truth, I don't know. Um, Y'all, I have been so goofy lately. Oh, I know what I was going to tell y'all. Um, you know, I had to go yesterday and get something for my GERD. And I forget what that stands for. And years and years and years ago, I thought I was having a heart attack. I thought I had an ulcer. It hurt so bad. And I finally went to the doctor, and they told me that's what it was, and they prescribed Nexium. At the time, the only way you could get Nexium was um, with a pre prescription. So I took that for years, and it's supposed to kind of heal you a little bit in there. And then I stopped taking anything, and then it came back. So I'd been out of... Uh, I can't say what the name is. I don't get Nexium uh, because that's really expensive. But I got, um, that's why I went to Big Lots, was to get some of that stuff. And I paid $17 for 48 uh, pills. And you take one a day. Well, as soon as I got home, I took two. So I feel so much better, so much better. I, I, there's a video that I made yesterday that I'm sure y'all, <laughs> I would love to see y'all's faces when you watch that video. <laughs> it wasn't funny at the time though, y'all. I really thought I was going to have to open my van door and just, let her rip. But anyway, um, <clears throat> I'll tell you what else I got while I was there. And, you know, at the time when you're cutting back on your groceries because you think, well, I might need this or I might need that. And I really have plenty of food. Y'all, I have plenty of food if there were two people living here. Um, 
but you know I'm just too lazy to cook. So, um, <clears throat> I'll tell you what I got. <clears throat> I got my stuff for my stomach. I got um, hand lotion that I don't mind using the greasier stuff on my skin, and it does soak in, but I got a little bottle of, yeah, it's about that big, of my Jergens. Now it's the extra healing kind, and it works just like the other one, but I love my cherry almond smell, the original Jergens hand lotion. So I got that. I was so surprised to find it. I got, um, y'all know that stuff that I was playing around with on the inside of my pantry door, you know, that kind of rubber stuff, whatever. I got a roll of that to put out on my potting bench and down on the bottom shelf. Jerry said, well, that's why I brought you the, no, he didn't talk like a girl. Well, that's why I brought you the touch-up paint. <laughs> I can't help it. I want to protect it, y'all. And that stuff, you can wipe it right off with water, and it's good to go. Toothpaste. I didn't remember toothpaste until I saw it, and they have the brand that I use. What else did I get? I know there was something else, but I just can't remember what it was. I didn't, you know, I didn't get a whole bunch of stuff, and that stuff were on top of my potting table. You know, was that necessary? No, it was not. My hand lotion, my stomach stuff, my toothpaste. Yes. I'm trying to think what else. Well, anyway... Everybody in that store, and there weren't very many people. Excuse me, y'all, that was so rude. That's what Pepsi does to you. I'm a Pepsi girl. I will drink Coke if that's all I've got. <laughs> um, I haven't bought Pepsi in a long time, y'all, but I did the last time I got groceries. Um... I'm just not having a real, I'm having a less, <laughs> put together day than normal, y'all, which is sad. Okay, so what else was I going to tell y'all? I guess nothing. You know, most of the time when I make my videos, you know this, I cannot stay on track. It. These chats that we have, they're just like y'all being right here in, in the chair over there. And we're just talking at least. But, you know, you can't interrupt me. <laughs> That's a very bad thing that people with ADHD have, y'all. It's the worst thing. It is the worst thing. I can deal with all the other stuff that goes along with it. Even being a shopaholic. And that is you interrupt people all the time. When Louise came down to see me, I felt so bad. After she left, I bet you she didn't get out of the driveway. And I was thinking, I was talking the whole time. How rude. She's never going to come back and see me. So I sent her an email and I apologized. And she said, that's okay. I like to hear about other people. <laughs> she is so sweet, y'all. So diplomatic. 
just so kind-hearted. I love her to death, and I was so looking forward. I was going to meet, I was going to go up there. Um, she came down here last time, and, um, but anyway, it is like the worst thing. It's like you're your mind is going so fast that you think if you don't say it now, you're going to forget it. Forget what? It's not important. Who cares? It is the worst, y'all. So if any of you ever make it over here to see me, I want you to do this. Hey. Hey. Can I have a turn? Or you could smack me. That'd probably work too. But it, it, we don't intend to do that. And the, those of y'all that have ADD, ADHD, you understand what I'm saying. And a lot of people have asked me, because there's a lot of new people. Hi, y'all. And I have just been thrilled that the ones of y'all who don't, comment have been popping in to say hello and i just love that thank y'all for that i appreciate it um <clears throat> but anyway uh, a lot of people have asked me well, you know why can't you just stay why can't you just work on one project and get it done why are you all over the place why do you change things all the time y'all it is not because I want to. I don't. I want to get my materials together, my tools. I want to get in one place, work on that project until it's done. I have never been able to do that. Never. I admire people so much that they just, they start working on something and they just don't quit until they're finished. They don't start two or three other projects and make messes everywhere. They don't do that. I've never been able to do that. That's why, that's one of the reasons why I used to stay at work after everybody left at five o'clock and I would stay until about eight o'clock until the cleaning crew came in because those three hours with no distractions is when I got my work done my boss always knew that my projects, my assignments, my work was all going to get done. And she just let me do it the way I wanted to. If I needed to take off for any time during the day uh, for any reason, or if I wanted to come in later, she used to tell me, Deb, just don't come in until 9 or 10. And, but I just couldn't do that. I mean... That just did not seem right. Um, <clears throat> so, y'all, it is not because I would love to go out here today and finish that yard. Now, one reason I can't completely finish it is because a sweet, sweet friend of mine sent me a gift to um, get a couple things. Now she told me to use the gift any way I wanted to, but it might turn into a couple of big pots. We'll see. If Amazon has any, I should get them now, so uh, because they just sent me this thing begging me not to give up my prime. That's it, y'all. 
I'm going to wait for Miss Hazel to wake up from her nap. And, um, and then uh, I'll get back out there. If I was lucky, I could move her and her favorite blankie down here on the floor. And I could get back out there. But there'll be some shade out there in that front yard sooner than there will be in this front yard. So I'm going to take my succulent pots out there to the front front and um, try and see if I can't come up with a plan. So anyway, y'all, I love you so much, and I, I so appreciate you, and I know that I don't, you know, we don't always agree on stuff, and um, I've had people say, well, I'm just... You know, I'm unsubscribing because, you know, uh, of you talking about politics or whatever. Well, y'all, I get that. But why can't we have a discussion? If I was in love with Biden, and I have to tell y'all, he's a little too touchy-feely for me. And I'm, you know, I'm from, I was raised in the South. We are touchy-feely, huggy people, but not, I, that's just too much for me, y'all. That's suffocating. I had a husband that was like that, and it almost killed me. I, I can't, I don't want anybody's arm across my shoulders. I don't want anybody with their hand around my waist just ugh, hugging me. My last husband used to do that just to aggravate me because he knew I hated it, especially if we were out in public. <laughs> we used to have so much fun. I hope he's such a happy man. But anyway, um, you know, you can talk about things, I think, like I was saying, if I was in love with Mr. Biden, and y'all disagreed with me. Now, there's a few of y'all, and I appreciate you so much, that email me and we talk about politics. And there has been a time or two, Donna, that you have straightened me out. I, I don't know that much about it, y'all. I don't know very much about those people. But I am learning how to sift through the crap. And you know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's an area that I am just totally ignorant about. I never will. I don't care if you're Einstein and explaining it to me like a kindergartner. I don't get why we have all these red states and blue states and and um, and we have this caucus and that I don't even know what a caucus is, y'all. <coughs> but why do we not just vote one time everybody at the same time? Why do they do all of that stuff? That is way too confusing. See, we have let ourselves get out of control. And I'm going to say this. I've said it many times. I believe in one party. One party. Not Democrat. Not Republican. Not uh <laughs> Somebody said they were an agnostic uh, voter. Um, it needs to not be that way. Oh, it drives me crazy. Look at all the time that is wasted. All the money. I don't get that. It's stupid. The aisle, across the aisle, bipartisan, partisan. Y'all, I just think it's crazy. I wish I could be president for a little while. I, I'm serious. I'm not saying I would do a good job. 
But there would be some different things. The American people would be coming numero uno. And for y'all that are not fluent in Spanish, I just said number one. <laughs> I got to shut up. Oh, my gosh, 20 minutes. Okay, I love y'all. Do something fun today, and please be safe. And I'm praying for y'all. There are so many of you. And please, 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 y'all, pray for a miracle for Ryan. I am asking Jesus to heal that young man. Wouldn't that just be out of this world amazing? So I'll talk to y'all later, probably in about two seconds. Bye now.